Good morning, folks. Today we've got a space energy alert. We wag a finger at weather modification. We compliment last night's astrophysics special video, and we'll finish up at the San Andreas Fault. We're starting, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're finding the last 24 hours were quiet apart from that small filament activity around the limbs. The southern coronal hole extension is clearly visible next to that bright active region. Those are likely to be the relevant space weather items this weekend and into next week. But the real story in space today is right here. Up top, both ACE and DISCOVER are showing dropouts of solar wind intensity down to anemically slow range. Bottom right, we see the KP index at more than 24 hours of zero. That means we're in a zero day. Users of the Disaster Prediction app either got this notification or have their notifications disabled. Two alerts went out from the app on this one, actually. Zero days correlate to the single greatest human health adverse effect marker in the statistics, the literature, everywhere. When the magnetic field is too quiet, it lets in more cosmic rays which provide direct particle bombardment of cells, DNA, etc., plus an increase in atmospheric electricity. When the KP rises off the floor, the alert will continue for another 24 hours. Up next, indeed the west went from record heat to record early snowstorms and record cold in about a day and a half. The cold and snow and more beneficial rains made their way eastward a bit, but the jet stream isn't planning on delivering this to the east just yet this year, should warm back up even out west this weekend. And up first in the science articles, weather modification, geoengineering, playing god in the sky. Specifically here, they are describing sunlight reflection and heat mitigation, and they are not only identifying the oversimplification of the risks, but a trending in the publications towards using the best case scenario, creating a false sense of safety and efficacy they plan to put in front of politicians and policymakers. If you are at all like us in our opposition to both the ongoing and planned future weather modification, these authors are fighting the good fight. Up next, Last night's special video was on the 2020 updates to the cosmological and astrophysical sciences. Sort of. There have been almost too many examples to collect in all those subfields we discussed last night, but each of the core avenues of discovery was covered. But perhaps the most exciting was the recent story about the massive plasma halo around Andromeda, and while the recently discovered massive Magellanic halo around the largest dwarf prisoners of our galaxy, we are hearing today is able to do some of the tricks that the plasma cosmology proposed things like this could do. Here, helping to finally explain the mass of the cloud tails in the Magellanic stream. Last but not least, where critical things converge, we find ourselves at the San Andreas Fault, where it's being used to study how earthquakes occur and how they now actually believe that the blood echoes we normally don't see in the northeastern Pacific may show up to foretell the biggest one to come. It's the day Southern California hopes never comes. And this would make for a nice sign, however, and truly if we start getting those deep blood echoes, even in the USA, it is time to get concerned. Interestingly, the rock melt they observe and describe as being a foretelling event is but part of the chemical process. Lab experiments show the piezoelectric and pyroelectric forces at work in both the melt and the current generation through the rock. Learn more about the ongoing earthquake predictions method at quakewatch.net. We greatly appreciate your support. If you missed our cosmology video last night, it is worth hunting down. Clicking my name here on YouTube is the easiest way to get to the homepage, where we've got a lot of videos for you to find. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.